Planet Zoo has just announced a new free update 1.11 coming to us on the 18th of October. So let's do a quick overview of this new update. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. This will be an overview of the new free update that was announced today and I am sure that in several hours or a day we will get a news about the new DLC, so this is very exciting times. There are 9 new features coming to the game with this new update and the first one is the Educator Exhibit Demonstrations. I won't read anything that is available to us on the forums of Planet Zoo, I will just give you guys some most important things about the new features coming Coming to the game. So when it comes to the educator exhibit demonstration, from now on, from what I understand, the educators will be able to take the exhibit animals out of uh, the exhibit and hold them for display and demonstration to the guests and they'll be also educating the guests while doing so. Of course they won't be able to uh, take out very large and dangerous unsafe species, so probably anacondas, uh, the poison frogs or something like this. Uh, but others will be available to you know to be showcased for example we have this picture of the educator showcasing the uh, diamond terrapin so this is really cool thing i am really excited for that this is something that you see in typical zoos uh, mainly when the educators do their you know education things the talks they are showcasing the small exhibit animals so this is just so just perfect i am very happy that it is added another thing are the customizable exhibit backdrops so from now on, uh, simply the exhibits will have like a customizable billboards uh, that will be backdrops of them. So you'll be able to upload your own image to the exhibits uh, to change the background of uh, those tanks. So this is also really cool because I can see players adding, you know, some backdrops, uh, some really cool backdrops to those exhibits, making them even more beautiful, even more suiting for the uh, sections that you are building. For example, your zoo and so yeah, this is a really, really cool feature. Another one will make the franchise player very happy. <laughs> this is the exhibit population management. And this basically means that you will be able to automatically handle the population of your exhibits. Uh, so you know that they are reproducing quite fast. And right now you will be able to set the maximum population of your exhibits and the game will automatically ha handle the overpopulation. It will just sell uh, the income uh, animals that will breed in your exhibits and this is really cool because always it was a mayhem I mean <laughs> those animals breed very fast and if you uh, were not paying attention to the exhibits suddenly you had 100 frogs and 200 beetles so from now on it will be easier to manage and also when it comes to the exhibits, uh, the camera improvements will be introduced. Uh, the new camera will be improved to allow you for better view inside of your exhibits. And this is meant to be similar to the habitat camera that you are now able to locate in your habitats. So this is all when it comes to the exhibits. I am really, really happy that they got so much love with this new update because I feel like uh, they are somehow overlooked by the players. Not many people play with them, not many people place them in their zoos. So right now I hope that because of those new features they will be more attractive for you uh, to play with them a little bit. And now it is time for a feature that makes me excited the most and this is the new biome skirts. So from now on you'll be able to uh, choose uh, the background of the map. There'll be 12 new biome skirts and one reskin design. I don't know what the reskin design means but for, from what I understand from now on uh, when you are building a new zoo you'll be able to choose uh, the background around it, uh, around the map. So I am hoping for some for example cities or some forests and stuff like that unfortunately I saw on Twitter uh, just now that you won't be able to change uh, the skirt or background of the existing zoo that you are we are already building in so this is quite a pity because I was hoping for some city background for the Elm, for the Elm Hill City Zoo but for new zoos we'll be able to do uh, so 
The next new thing is the new terrain tool, the ramp terrain stamp. And from now on, it will be easier to create ramps, uh, both as upward hills and downward slopes. Uh, so it will be allow you to customize better, for example, to make inclined paths. Uh, so this is a cool uh, addition. I always like when they are adding new terrain tools. Next, very exciting thing is a new color variation of a certain animals. And this is the pyabolism. Piebald animals. I think that you are pronouncing this in this way. Uh, so it means that some animals will have the patterns of the unpigmented spots across the skin or coat, uh, resulting in some really unique looking variants. And they are telling us that they will be added to the Niala, the pronghorn antelope, and springbok. So it is really exciting. And I hope I am hoping that uh, some of the new animals from the new update will also get this feature and we get this really beautiful photo of the Nyalas with this new uh, color variation and it looks so so beautiful. And then we have a new animal behavior, which is escapes. Uh, so from now on, when your animals will escape from the habitats, they'll be able to cause some mischief. Uh, they'll be able to knock over the bins and eat the garbage even. Uh, they want to get sick, by the way, but, but this will impact the quality of their last meal, so it will drop down. So yeah, really cool feature, adding some more dimension to the ga game. Uh, only the bigger animals will be able to knock out the, fen the bins, and yeah, I think it's really, really cool that they are still introducing things like that to our game. And the last thing uh, is that the Sounds of Summer playlist, like this lo-fi uh, playlist that was uh, introduced to us last week, I think, will be now added to the speakers uh, in your Zeus. So this is really nice. And from now on, you are also able to stream uh, the Sounds of Summer on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud and Ama Amazon Music. So this is also really, really amazing because this album is so beautiful. If you haven't got the chance to hear it yet, please go and do it because it is beautiful. Okay, and those are all the things that will be added to the game with this new update. I cannot wait for the October 18th when it will be released. With the new DLC, of course, it will come up, come out on the, the same day. And looking at those features, these new features from the new uh, free update, I sort of have, you know, a hard time finding out what the next DLC could be. There are no too many clues in here. So uh, if you have any clues about it, please share it with me in the comment section. Uh, maybe we will together be able to, you know, found, find out what what the next uh, DLC will be. Okay guys, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little news overview here on my channel. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up down below, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, leave a nice comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.